Hi, everybody. We are in the studio with Perry Ellis back, Baruch Hashem. We have Judy Gold here today. Thank God. And we have a new Jewish New Year. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. I uh, want to thank our sponsors right away. A&H Provisions, best hot dogs ever, and kosher glot meats. The website is? www.kosherdogs.net. And people uh, have been, you know, th- Modi. 30? Promo code Modi for 30% off your first order. Promo code Modi for 30% off your first order. Yep. And um, Seth, Happy New Year. Thank you guys for being a part of the podcast. And Whites in Luxembourg, the law firm you want on your side. If Love ever, chas v'shalom, you need a law firm. Uh, and their website is, what is it? The, the face he's making. <laughs> Whites and Luxembourg yes. is your sponsor. Yes. Yeah, and Kosher Me. And friend. I like Kosher Me. Yeah. yeah. Whitesluxcom Whitesluxcom not but, but, it doesn't but matter. they also bought whitesandlux.com because I kept fucking it Which up. Which is smart. I love that. They did. Well, yeah. good. And I Wait, had, what I kind of had, lawyers? Are, well, are they all Jews? I mean, <laughs> basically. I had, uh, they're the best. I have you had, ever used them? Actually, actually, you did have a consultation with we them We did this recently week. have a consultation. Really? Arthur's my friend. Uh, uh, the Arthur Luxembourg? Luxembourg, yeah. Oh, because I, because I. <laughs> I love him. I love him. And he, any reason for him to order lunch? Hey, what are you doing? Boom, come over and then like sandwiches why don't and we, jelly. Okay, everywhere. then why don't we record there? We because could. look at this shit. And Nothing. his daughter, his daughter that was on the podcast, she has Jack Snacks. She makes these beautiful, and we had some. I I was with Jack Snacks, with Jack Snacks' snacks mm-hmm. for the for Rosh Hashanah. I oh, had dinner really? With, I had second night with Arthur and his family. We and have to get this you. Red, We'll have to send you a package. You're oh gonna my die. god, you'll die! It'll make up for, for so really delicious. Yeah. Jack snacks. Jack snacks. It's and she's like, the cutest. Is there her kid me. named Jack? No, no her, her, her name, name is, is Jackie. Jackie. But uh, ah. okay, let's talk about the guests. You came in guns a blazing. Guns a blazing. What happened? Stories for us. Okay, came well, in I just twenty minutes well, Okay, late. I'm just. But then I have to tell you what happened last night at the comedy cellar. Okay, okay. but uh, so I've been here in New York a week. I was in. I spend my whole summer in P Town. Yep. I do uh, three shows a week, three hour shows. I work on all my material and it's great. And the audiences are great and I love it. Okay, and I have a house there, whatever. <laughs> so, um, and I hate leaving there. Like I'm sure you hate leaving Fire Island, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but okay. <laughs> I, I hate it. I mean, I, I've had that house since 1994. Wow. I wow. spent the the um, pandemic there. Like, it's- A special place. I love it. I walk out of my we house. Call, we call I it see in the Yiddish water. a winkel. That's your corner of the world. Right. That That's is it. corner to winkel. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to start a synagogue in town too. Anyway, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, it takes me days to pack because I'm so, I'm like procrastinate and procrastinate. We're the worst. Yeah. I hate fucking packing, yeah. even though I've been doing it for 40 yeah. fucking years. Anyway, so um, I get home. I'm like, okay. And I'm really worried about reentry because Ben... And his girlfriend spent the entire summer in my apartment. So of her course, son. I, her son, her, yeah, my her, y- younger, her son. younger son. And of course, I walk in, no toilet paper. Like, who the fuck <laughs> leaves the leaves the apartment without sans no Nespresso paper. pods, no okay, Nespresso pods, se- and the re- TV remote gone. <laughs> like oh what? God. And he doesn't. He's like, oh well, it was clean. I don't care. I can't turn on the fucking TV. There's no toilet paper. <laughs> so your thing is you can use the house, but uh, just leave it stocked. It's very, well, I it's very it, Airbnb with your kids. Right. It's yeah. like I le- I give them like just n- life. Like the, I think life. the worst is the toilet paper. Yeah, I think that the toilet is, paper yeah. is pretty bad. That's right. Bad, yeah. After a five fucking hour drive, yeah. and then I walk in, and it's a fucking yeah, you know that's, that's out annoying. cardboard yes. roll. Sorry, Ben. Ben, that's ridiculous. Ben, you're ben. on the shit list. And Henry, so, Henry, Henry wouldn't do that. Henry, Henry, would, do that. Henry would never. I don't the think first Henry time would do I that. Ever felt old, <laughs> not old, but like like as an older person. I, I know what story you're gonna say. I know. I was. I hadn't seen Henry in years. Years and I go to do a show at West Side Comedy Club, and this very handsome young man comes over, taps me on the shoulder, and he goes, Hi, I'm Henry, Judy Gold's son. And like an idiot, it flew out of your I mouth. Just, I was it there. It came out of my mouth so fast. 
I was at your bris. <laughs> I felt like a 90. I wanted to get out of that club. You were and at run. Ben's bris, not both of them. You both were at of both? Them. Both. When you had your fight with your mother, I was at both of them. You, oh, right. Yeah, you, you had a fight with your mother. She no, didn't come. I, after I she said that, I wanted to, I know. After I said that, I wanted to walk outside and jump in front of a bus. <laughs> I can't believe I said, yeah. I was at your bris. He loved it. He loved it. He it was okay. so funny. So, all right. So I, I get here. And you know, re-entry is really hard. What do you mean re-entry? What is this re-entry thing? Re-entry from the eye, like coming like back from- Like re-entry, like I'm re-entering into- New yeah, world, New York. Right. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Well, hold on, those of you who don't know, P-Town, Provincetown, is like a little world of its own. Yeah. It's like a gay world. Artist colony, Artist, like beautiful yeah. beat, like- With one big drag and you just see gays walking back and forth and back and forth. Okay, and that's your experience. And a big sign of Judy's face. Because- and a big sign of Judy's face by the, by the theater. You just okay. see guys in, in, sl- in, uh, in what's it's it? not just but that. They have it's not only guys, it's, but they do have like theme weeks. Like they yes. have Bear Week. Bear Week's the, the best. I've been there for Bear, bear Week. Week. They're the nice. The bears I heard are the nicest. Bridesmaids Week, which sounds horrible. Well, that they go to all the drag shows. Like that's what's horrible about this. Like sort of, you know, drag being popular. It's now Attracting. lost. It's so, it's sort oh, of you edge. know edgy. Yeah. yeah, subversive for the audience, not for the. I think right. the drag queens are great. Anyway, so. I'm like, okay, I'm here. I ordered Chinese food. I'm like, okay, everything's fine. And then I had to go in the subway to do a set. And I walk, and Henry came with me, and I walk in the subway, and there's a guy lying <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs, no shoes on, like this, going, <laughs> ah! And I'm just like, I can't. I can't do fucking you, deal with this you know shit. what we call that? What? Whenever you encounter something like really harsh in the city, Modi and I just call it ambiance. Is We're it? like, oh, there's a lot of ambiance yeah, in this Yeah, so block. there was major ambiance. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot so of So that's what I, I'm going to my spot. I'm like, ah! <laughs> okay. Then I go to the set, okay, and I go back to 23rd Street to get on the subway. That subway stop is closed okay. now to go downtown. Turn off. I'm turning off my phone. Go ahead. Okay. So that subway stop you. is closed. So Henry's like, well, why don't we go? to the downtown one and go to 14th street mm. and then take the express. And look, I'm 60 years old. I'm done waiting for fuck it. So we go downtown. I said, oh, fine. Uber. Right. So I go down there and it's 12 fucking minutes. <laughs> for an Uber. For a fucking subway. Oh. So I said, no, we're getting a cab or an Uber. So we go up, there's no cabs. Finally, he sees a cab and we go. And so 40, 45, to, like it's, I don't even make money. <laughs> Doing yeah. sets. No, but, no. but, but I lo- I have to do it. But it's just like it's so hard. Everything's so hard. It's yeah. not like it used to be. You know, Adams sucks. He sucks. He's a terrible mayor. This place oh, is Adam. out of fucking control. Adam, okay, you going for no, I do okay. feel that sometimes we're just getting from point A to point B is so hard and exhausting right. and it's taxing. And it exhausting. used to be that it wasn't because right. we had the subway, we had the bus. You know, I ride my bike a lot of places. I just I can't. It's it's getting too hard. Like well, I walk right, out of my we, house. A part of our a part of uh, we have a driver. We when my <laughs> when we finish our taxes at the end of the year, my account says to me, "Do you want to know what you spent on Uber?" We could have bought I two more cars. No. <laughs> I said no because we Uber everywhere. Right, and it's it's as though we have a driver, and that's a salaried person in our life, and that's how we just that's, that's how we do. It. We Uber everywhere. We just I I, I can't I can't do it. I I it's it's awful. It's, it's but, but it shouldn't be like that. And let that. me tell you something. Sometimes even the Ubers blow. Like yep. you, if, unless oh, you pay please. for the nice, nice ones. I have. What's your rating on Uber? I'm a high. I have a yeah, good one. Have, okay, I, I, I have I, like a five point <laughs> on Lyft. Oh. And on Uber, and like Uber, two, I like gotta look it up. And I'm like, what did I do? Did you like right. throw up in the back of an Uber? No, I think that you know, if I'm on the phone talking loud, or. Oh. I do think like we've been kicked out of cabs, Elisa and I, for kissing. <laughs> Like, oh, get out really? of my cat. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've experienced a like lot of that phobia. shit. Yeah. In Ubers? Wow. You've been, yeah. I feel the, nervous about that stuff sometimes. Yeah. I Ubers. don't. But you know what happened to me? I was on an, in an Uber. Yeah. And it's a woman, and she has a picture of her kids. And I'm like, oh, I, you know, good for her. And she's playing Jesus mm. religious yeah. radio. And I post... On Twitter before fucking Elon Musk I, took I over. I saw this. What, what, you know, because I really want to know what people's opinions are about 
religious, you know, go, getting into a, a, a cab or what, and having to listen to religious, you know, and they yeah. all start attacking. Like I was literally asking, I didn't get, I gave her five stars. Right. I respect her. I but think I it's think, rude. I think it is rude and inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. But I, I didn't, agree. like the everyone's accusing me, fuck you, Judy, you're, you know, no, and I'm like. I think it's rude. Right. I, right. I don't think it's appropriate. You're paying for a service and like, you can play music, yeah, sure, but like, just like when I get into a cabin, sometimes they're listening to like, I don't know, other I stuff. Got, or like, like I've eating. Gotten, I've, I've gotten into a, a few times, this happened, that the, the guy's playing somebody reading the Quran. Yeah, that, yeah. that by the way, is very soothing. Uh, it sounds a little like Torah. Like Sephar- yeah. It sounds like Sephardic people reading their, their Torah. Right. It's I'm with a- you. I don't think you should be playing Jesus. Yeah, you can't. You're at work. Yeah. Thank like, you. Yeah. You're at work. Yeah. You don't. You're at work. Yeah. You're at work. Well, the thing that blows my mind is when you can tell that the drivers are smoking in the car. Oh yeah. In, in between people, I'm like, this is your like oh, place yeah. of work, and I have to come in here and sit and pay to sit in here, and, and it, it smells disgusting. like shit, and it's a health hazard. See, right. as a former smoker, those were my no. favorite. Oh, cabs to I get in because it so meant that I up. could smoke in the cab. <laughs> but, but, yeah, not for nothing. It's a lot of young people are smoking now. Yeah, it's coming back. I'm in shock. Well, it's because yeah. of their anxiety and, you know, there's so much shit going on I think, and they're I, hopeless. I, Look at fucking climate change. Did you ever change. used to smoke cigarettes? I smoked. I smoked from, I think I started when I was like 15 or 16 till about 23. And then what happened? Okay, my ex, I went and met her parents, and they both smoked three packs of cigarettes mm. a day. And the walls were like yellow. yellow. And we're sitting there. Oh God, my stomach looks horrible on this. Okay. And we're sitting there. I can, I'll crop it. We'll yeah, you crop. better we'll do fucking something. crop it. Anyway. You look great. Shut yeah. up. You look amazing. You, look great. you just said I haven't you- seen you look so good. You've been posting some old clips. You look, you look like Liza Minnelli. You look oh like- Oh my God, Liza or Patty Lapone. <laughs> Wait. So I go to visit. I see. Yes. I meet her parents for the first time. They both smoke. And we're eating dinner, and they're like, <laughs> and I was like, you have to, I am. It was a wake up. Call. I am never smoking another. Really, cigarette. that's what did yeah. it for you? And it was cold turkey. I, I, yeah, I. But I kept the pack. I read this thing. Keep the pack, because part of the addiction is going out and buying yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. then packing it, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. opening it up, oh. and it's, and so I kept a pack there, so I didn't. You know, and, and never I smoked never again. smoked again. My mother quit cold turkey from three packs a day, but she kept cigarette packs all over the house for a yeah, long time. Yeah, it's a mental time. thing. Right. Yeah, like yeah, a security yeah. blanket. My, my, my mom, my aunt, who died because of cancer from uh, from smoking. I get, they grew up in a time where you looked on the Johnny okay. Carson show. People were yeah. smoking on Johnny Carson. Oh my Carson. God. I this just was the read coolest thing. that, you know, I remember I went to the movie theater. Pe- you could smoke in the movie theater. You yeah. could smoke on the on plane. plane. I yes. remember smoking on the plane. Oh, wait. About that. I don't know. I used to go on the road, right? And I would come home and I would open my suitcase and it was like a waft of smoke yeah. um, would come out. My, all my clothes smelled. People would just, it was awful. No, we used to go out at night to- uh, Well, that's yeah. what I did. And like, come home, home and smell. smell. And then you'd yeah. have to like set all your clothes on fire because they smelled yeah. so But the kids disgusting. today, kids today, the 20 year olds, whatever, they know how bad this is. Yeah, they know, but they don't care because the they think we're living And they on, vape, they the vape. Cigarette the cigarette packs have a picture of like the, the actual cancer right. and someone yeah. dying and someone- right, this coma. conversation is horrible. Okay. Yeah, wait Henry a vapes. Okay, I got I it. Have a, wait, I have a real question for you. What? Why why are you rolling your eyes? Because I have to tell you what happened at the comedy. Oh, tell us. Okay, so that was okay. We sorry, we that didn't Trump. realize we didn't so, get So um last night I did come to Papa, which was great. And then I did a set at the Village Underground. And I uh, I I in the beginning of my set, um, right now, I'm talking about my trip to Israel. I went on an LGBTQ plus mission to Israel, and it was incredible. Um, so I talk about Israel, uh, and I, I'm very pro-Israel. I, mm-hmm. you know, although I do think the government right now sucks horribly. I think it's a young country uh, with a shitty government that does n- not good things. But I think that about this country. Yeah. We're a young country okay. with a lot of shitty people in the government. Anyway, I mean, it really mirrors the United States. But I, I want to talk about you know, democracy and the United States. So I, it's, it's sort of this, I talk about going to Israel and, and sort of educating people. And, um, I, I, my joke is that, you know, you can do things in Israel now that you can no longer do here. 
Uh, so when I got there, I said to Elisa, my lover, uh, you know, we're here. I think I'll get an abortion, right? And <laughs> it gets a huge laugh. And then I say it was a food babe, whatever. Um, so this woman screams out, apartheid. Oh, wow. And then I'm like, and I'm still talking. And she's like, Israel's an apartheid state. And I'm like. Wow. How did you handle that? Uh, you know, then they come over and talk to her. Right. I said, really? It's a comedy club. Israel's not an apartheid state. It's not. Did it's you say go that? To, it's yeah. A, so whenever we post anything that has anything, well, anything I say, it sounds a little Jewish. So the right, 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 free Palestine. Right, free Palestine. Free Palestine. I mean, I met with Palestinians. Yes. We met with Palestinians there. Did you know that the LGBTQ centers, we went to a bunch and a uh, shelter and we marched in the Jerusalem Pride Parade. If a Palestinian escapes, a gay, a trans, any, and they go to Israel, to find, you know, refuge. Right. right. They take them in. They um they uh counsel them, they provide them with medical care and shelter. There was even a Palestinian social worker at at wow. the at the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. LGBTQ center in Haifa uh who was um there just to to deal with Palestinians. And and yes, is there's so many shitty things going on there. But, but there's a lot of not, Mashiach energy there too. There's a lot there's, of great right. things too, yes. And, you know, and I just want to say, like, you know, anti-Zionism, like Israel has a right to exist, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I believe Zion is. Like, I think they have a right to exist and I think they have a right to defend themselves. Do I agree? Like, I do think the Palestinians should have their own. I think I believe in a two-state solution and I don't believe in, you know, human rights abuses, which, uh, you know, Look at this country. Yeah. Yeah, yes. We put kids in cages. Is, uh, I mean, look what we put kids in cages. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's just that everything the Jews do yeah. is put under a different like, lens. Absolutely. And 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 I'm just talking on stage and this this vitriol and I said at the end, you know, I I appreciate your passion, you know, that you but well, read. Read. Right. No, they are they they are on their on their their that's it. They're on their that's that's their go to thing and and they and we had a guest on here that was explaining the difference between being anti anti Semitic and anti Israel, but it's a combined like they're yelling right. at the kids on the college campus. What are you doing with Israel? This kid's on a college campus, he comes from New Jersey, he has no idea what's happening in right. Israel or controlling it. Right. But she's blaming him for everything happening in Israel. Right. Yeah. I mean, do you call do you criticize, you know, you know, Italy, it's all Catholic. Do yeah. you say? Can we switch the conversation? Yeah, but I just said but it was. I it tell was you, I'm kind of like in front of wait. Judy Gold. I'm sitting here in front of Judy Gold, who is just an icon. Period. Wow. I, and I remember my first time meeting Judy Gold. It was in a gay bar called Uncle Charlie's. Oh my God! They were doing. I was doing comedy maybe three weeks. And someone said, there's a club and there's a this. And I said, okay. And I wasn't like out on stage. You weren't out. I was, I, but by the way, last night I was on Godfrey's podcast. He said, you always came around with guys. You always came around with girls too. But I was never in the closet with the comedians. And no. on stage, I just wasn't gay. But anyway, it was Uncle Wait, you're Paul. gay? <laughs> <laughs> Ner nervous, nervous, yeah. just nervous. All right, I got it. Um, and Judy, so I we go into this gay bar called Uncle Charlie's, and she's like the main show. And we were like, whatever they're gonna slip in, you know, if you and she <laughs> you were so mean. <laughs> you were like, you're like, um, he'll go after me. <laughs> I was? Yeah, yeah. I remember it was so it was like there was a there was a like a whoever's going on and off, and and you saw like I they're gonna put two before you and then Well, I, because they always did that to to win. Men, like you know, first of all, we never got to work together, women, because when I started, oh, there one, would one per one, show, one per show, if there was one if at all. One. And then Comedy U Grand had Thursday nights was uh, all female comedians, and that was the only night we got five dollars. That was the only night we all got to work together, That's one funny. Thursday night, and so. Every time I would walk, it was very hard being a female closer in the, you know, late 80s, 90s, because 
there was so much misogyny and they would do things to try to fuck you up so you didn't do well. A lot of clubs like on the road. Really? Like, um, what? like what? Oh, like I remember I went to Arizona and they put a guitar act. Oh no. Like, oh, like who like did like opener. 40 minutes oh. in front. And I'm like, wh- like why? Like just to, just to, because you want me to fail. For the audience, just so you know, a guitar act is like the most, one of the most miserable things to follow. The audience is mesmerized with the fact that this guy can do these things. And they're dumbed hands, down. And yeah. they're dumbed down. Yeah. And then he makes these things Music rhyme. Than and then you come on with material and they're like, really? Yeah, Don't we're not- you have a guitar? Can't you rhyme? Right. Uh, ugh. Yeah, we're not listening. We we don't have to but, listen. Yeah, get the guitar guy back. It's the worst. Um. Yeah, I experienced a lot of that, and yeah. and uh, I'm sorry, I was mean. I didn't mean to be mean. No, it's okay. It, people would tell me like they they say I was always in a rush. Yeah, God, people said, say you you were mean. You you were uh, brusque. But, brusque. Yeah, because you're so like I want to go do my set, yeah, and then someone yeah. is like. Oh, sorry. And you're like, what? Like, no, I I came here. You told me one thing and now you're changing it. It's really hard because, you know, I'm doing this, as I said, 40 fucking years, (laughs) going on 41 um, in December. And, you know, you just, you still have anxiety. Like, it it never, you want to kill, you want to, but you get to a point where you're like, you know, have some respect for me. Yeah, you know, sure. and my time, and so what are the crowds like at your shows in P Town? Oh my God, the best, smart, they, smart. They love you. Um, what do you think is the split of like? I get straight people, the LGBTQ. Oh, it's a lot of gays, but I get a lot of straight people. Yeah, uh, you know, look, I came up in the straight clubs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I came out in '96 when oh. Henry was born, and um, I came out as a gay parent, which I think. Um, on stage, you just yeah. I came out. I, I of course I have this kid, and I'm not gonna lie. Like I knew. It's funny. I came out as a as a gay married man to a millennial. That was like I, right. I didn't just, Hi, I'm gay, and this is what I didn't accept me. And it was well, like, yeah. Hi, I'm married to my husband. He's 22 years younger, and I go from there. And it's right. more focused on that. Right. Right. And so when you come, it before. used to, yeah. Because I some, did not lie to you about no, my it's age. A joke. Ever. <laughs> it's a joke. Calm, <laughs> left fuck down. Anyway, <laughs> no, but I, I, um, I came out. I say this in my show that was based on my book that you didn't come to. Um, Who didn't come to your show? Oh, okay. We didn't go to your show. Did you go to I, Yes, I Can Say That? At no, no, no one invited us. Right. No one invites us. Oh, really? No one invites us. So, like, when you go see a show, do you have like, you know, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Michael Yuri call you and say, "Can you come to my show?" Can I tell you something? That's the only time Modi knows yeah. to show up to a show. When Colin says, <laughs> "Hey, I'm doing a show," I okay. I, you I th- think oh, I'm okay. sitting here trying to learn lines? <laughs> And I'm like, oh God, I have to tell Modi I'm doing a new show. Well, you should your publicist and have her contact. It's like, do you follow me on Instagram? I do. Okay. I, I don't like sit there. Perry it's your fault. Okay. You anyway, you it's not. No, it's phone. not. I anyway. actually came. Guilt. And she That's what you can call this episode. To me. Judy oh, Gold. Guilt. <laughs> no, so anyway, I say this in the show, and it's true that, you know, I came out because of my child. But it was because of him that it made it easier for me to come out on stage because I'm talking about being a okay. parent. I'm not talking about, uh, and God bless all the people that came before me who were out, um, but a lot of them were working in gay clubs because the mainstream clubs mm-hmm. didn't, but I yeah. didn't have any material. I'm in this relationship. Like I wasn't. You also I, got I had no material either for And I wasn't though. comfortable. Yeah. It was like the fucking 80s. So it, it definitely cha- it changed the whole trajectory of my career, which- You, you also know. got a law changed, didn't you, in the hospital? A what? The law changed about- Oh, yeah, yeah, hospital. yeah. I got, um, not in the hospital, but when Sharon and I broke up, um, she hadn't adopted Ben and- uh, you know, my family's like, Dad, don't let her into, no, it's his, he's, and I'm like, you know what? Here's the deal. I had those kids with her and I didn't want Henry going back and forth and Ben just, stay, like they're brought, they should be brothers. Right, right, yeah. So um, we went to court and it was a precedent setting case in the state of New wow, York wow. that I allowed that? my ex or petition for my ex 
who, we, first of all, she's not genetically linked uh, to Ben. We didn't live together. We weren't legally married. There was no marriage at the that time. Uh-huh. And it was a precedent set in case that the judge let wow, her adopt. Wow. But and then, I thought it uh, said yeah, mother and father. My building now, can you could enclose your terrace? <laughs> said, I, I at the Department oh, of Oh, that thing. Yes, I did petition. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can legally enclose your terrace in Seward Park. And, uh, and, <laughs> Thank you, and that's what they did me. People Thank you for your before. service to the community. I I, also, I, I, because uh, it was, you told me that it was mother and father. So all the um, forms... Uh, well, first it started in school. My kids went to public school and everything said mother and father. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember I contacted Christine Quinn and I just said, you know, look, it's not only that it's not only for same sex parents, people lost their parents in, in the world trade center. People's parents are incarcerated. People's parents die of cancer. Like, it's not right. It should not say mother and father. It should say parent, guardian, parent, guardian. Right. And they changed the forms in the public school. So that was good. But then the one thing I think you're talking about, Ben got his tonsils taken out. Yeah. And the whole time we're there. First of all, I, I wrote a, an article about it. Um, and we were at the doctor making the appointment for the surgery. And the nurse uh, is like doing the checkout stuff. And she says, um, and he's on Sharon's insurance. And she says, um, who's the real mother oh. Oh, wow. in front of Ben? And I said, uh. are you asking who the biological mother is? I'll answer that. But don't you ever ask a same-sex you know, parent oh, the real- who the real. Wow. And I always had to, like, you know how you can just... Get you get in a cab and they're like, oh, you're married, and you could yeah. just be like, yeah, whatever. whatever. But when you have when you're with your child, you can never yeah. do that, right? Yeah. Um. So I always was firm, and tried to be kind, but you know, like that really pissed me off. So they, I changed the forms, and that like can't with the sharpie. Then we go into surgery, and they come out and say one of you can go in with him and one of you can be there at the end when he wakes up and Ben's like, I don't care who, you know, whatever. And we see another couple there with their kid and they both go in. And I said, excuse me, why? Well, it's apparent, you know, and, and again, yeah, Yeah. we both went in. Okay. Then, so, and the form still said mother and father, um, on uh, you know, on the on the hospital forms. Okay. Right. Anyway, he gets his tonsils out. We bring him home. He's you know he's sleeping, and I go out to get him ice cream, and I'm walking to the ice cream place, and he calls me up. He's like, "Mommy, um, they just called. For, you know, they did the follow up call to see yeah. how he was. They just called from the hospital, and they're like, is your mother or father there?'" And I didn't know what to say. And I was like, that's it. Oh, wow. Wow. And I called up and lost it. and then I wrote this article. And it was in Huffington Post. And the president of Columbia Presbyterian called me and apologized. And they wow. used wow. that wow. article as a learning wow. device wow. for other hospitals now. Wow. Good for um, you. But, and they all changed them, right? To <laughs> they changed a, them, yeah. Parents A but, and at, parent but if, B. But then if you're in a private clinician's office right. and they don't, I, I, I feel like I always have to speak up. Well, they say, you know, coming out is not something you do once. It's some it's a lifetime continuous oh. thing that you have to do over and over and over. And I say that for my kids too. And all of your yeah. interactions. My kids have to come out all the time. Um, yeah. It's... And they've had like shitty experiences. Sure. And I'm proud of the way they handled them. Well, because they had you. As an example, um, they really are great kids. Yeah, they oh my really God, are. I I've, love had, them. Really, I've I, had a few interactions with them. One of them is like in the comedy world. Yeah, he's doing. Well, Henry was producing shows, yeah. but now he's working with kids with behavioral problems. Oh, okay. He's still um, producing so now. Yeah, he's still producing, but he's so good with kids, and I want him to go in that direction. But he so wants you to. you also work in a lot of like Jewish spaces. Yeah, like yeah. Modi does, and so how do you? Like, well, Modi's maneuver? taken over that whole how situation. You, <laughs> correct. I don't even. 
go, I can't even be in the Chosen Comedy Festival? You were. Once. And you upset all the Floridians. <sighs> oh. Oh my oh. God. I work under the premise of know your audience. Did you audience. see that? J Judy Gold gets on stage. I was talking to somebody and I just Set the see stage. Her. We're in Florida. Set the stage. We're in Florida. <laughs> Two two thousand something, yeah, three hundred or eight hundred people, all sitting there, Floridian Jews, they've leaned into Florida. They all. Well, have I did I, the, when I go to Florida. She does. It's not those aren't the Jews that come to my show. Like a little so mad you can look out and see. You can. No, see I, the I honestly. And, and you started doing the gun material. Yeah, I started. And talking they, about her. And they all have like they're all, all of, armed. They're all armed. <laughs> I, I had no car. idea. And you're just like, like anti armed, and I'm like, what is she saying? I know, all and they Jews all turned on me. I have a whole <laughs> bit about it. My act now. Did you read that article that talks about it afterwards? It's called the New Jew. No. Yeah. It was kind of like how like this kind of MAGA, whatever, right-wing Jewish woman, I think, wrote it. And she mentioned, she was like, and people think that like, you know, we're not afraid to defend ourselves contrary to what, I don't know how she phrased it, Judy Gold said at the Chosen Comedy Festival and then she quoted you. And it was like, this is like a new generation of Jewish people who are like locked and loaded. <laughs> locked and loaded Jews. <laughs> that's right. no and, joke. And, and Locks and, the, and loaded. Locked and loaded. Oh, hey that's now. a shirt. Write it down. Here's your title. Um, <laughs> but I, I, you know, it's a joke. Like the joke is about being Jewish and having a gun. And I do this whole thing about like, I can't even imagine like, you know, my parents with the gun. It's really me going into, you know, Ma, where's the gun? I put it down in the basement. Uh, well, you know where the Passover dishes are? It's like a whole <laughs> stupid, it's like a way of getting in like Jews and guns, you know? Right. And they, you know, it's like that whole MAGA crowd cannot joke about anything. Yeah. They, talk, talk about she snowflakes. Touch. Right. Talk and it's like, that, and that was it. After I did that, they all turned on me. Yeah. But I, the joke is about Jews and, right. you know, like it's really about. You know, my mother. No, but um, right, right. Florida is scary when it comes to guns. Like, it's a kind of, it's kind it's of the little, Wild yeah. West. <laughs> it's kind but of also, wild west. Modi, you have to admit, they're not in love with female comics, that audience. They love Jessica. Right. At, in, in, um, in, in, in Brooklyn, and uh, they they love, they do, they do. It's not true. They do like female They comics. like Jessica. Zarna did well. She's not Jewish. And, um, yeah. Yeah. They like their guns more than they, they like their, their women. They like their guns a lot, a lot more than, more like than the female comedians. Right. Yeah. And so like that, you know, I wish I had a gun. I mean, I but to you me, do I'm like synagogues. A, you do I do synagogues. I go on the bima. The Torah yeah, is behind right, me. Right. So, so do people so ever I say I have been doing Jewish spaces for years. Yeah. I love the Jews and I love that they love comedy and they want to all their fundraisers are, are yeah. around comp. Yeah. Can we talk about Berlin now? I mean, or save it for the next? We'll save it for the next. Save it for the next. But, but we, um, but you, first of all, the few times I've worked with Judy Gold, she is that comedian when they say hi. So the vice president of the, of the organization is a lesbian. Please avoid that. And Judy hits the stage. Where's the vice president? <laughs> <laughs> so you eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> she's that comedian. She's that. She's like, she, you cannot tell her not to say right. something. Yeah. You can, me, I'm like, what, what what's the story? What should I avoid? I'm like, but they love it. Have yeah, you encountered no, that they where love it. like a Jewish organization or a synagogue is like, please well, don't talk about X, Y, and Z? Yeah, well, I do get um, you know, they'll hire me and then yeah. they'll say, you know, um, if you could not curse. I'm like, duh, I'm like, the Torah's behind me. Yeah. But, and Cursing then you is, hired me, you know? Yeah. So obviously, you know, like people think I, I have to curse in my act. And, but I also oh, feel I, like- I, I thought it's they hired you so they know they're going to get a little- Right, smoke. but they're like, you know, and just a little, no politics. And I'm like, I get it. I know this audience. That's what was so weird about- Jarring about the Florida situation. About the Florida. Yeah. I'm like, right. God, I know these, I know Florida Jews, but they're different no, Florida Jews. No, but I also think that that's part of your magic. And you once said something to me that I never forgot that was one of like the best pieces of advice I ever got from a comic, which was, do you remember? Mm -mm. Always tell the truth. Yes. And you can't not, like that's you. They and that's always what... can tell when you're lying. Mm -hmm. and, and you're not going to tell the story in the best way if you're making up shit. Mm. Right. Jewish audiences also, I always say, need to know where you are in their world. 
Right. So when the he I used to be there, they're like the son that's you know a little unique in doing comedy instead of going to law school, and and then I used to be like now there's a, the, it's like someone's dad who's this and that. They they need to, you're the lesbian woman that's with the kid, and they need to know where you fit in their well, world. Well, it was I feel like that's a really good point because it's like in the beginning it was really hard. Um, they have to know that you know that they know that. Well, yeah. it was because here I am, I'm out and you know, this is the nineties Yeah, and it was, you know, people were really scared. Uh, and then their kids came out to them. Right. Right. And they were like, Oh, I have a gay kid. And when I did 25 Questions for a Jewish Mother, which was an off-Broadway show, ran for almost three years here. Again, we weren't invited to that. <laughs> um, people would come and bring their parents and then come out to their parents. People, I have so many letters. I didn't realize I could be Jewish and a practicing yeah. Jew. Right and now. I get that. I got that so much. And I, my, I am so proud to be, a, I love being Jewish. I love it. I love studying it. I love the way we think. I love, I, I really do. I, I, and my mother, it's definitely passed down for my mother. My mother was the only girl. She voluntarily sat in the boys Hebrew school class every day after school. She was born in 1922. Wow. And, um, you know, she passed on that pride and that love. And I think that my audiences could see you know, okay, she's gay or she's this or she's that, but she, I am a Jew right. and I will, and I talk about, like the other thing is when you have these liberal Jews on the Upper West Side, criticize, like I would get criticized. You're doing a stereotype when you do your mother. I'm like, I'm doing my mother. That's how she talks that's and that's what she right. said. And I'm doing it in the middle of America. Like you're sitting in your little, your apartment on the Upper West Side criticizing me. And I'm in the middle of the country talking about my Jewish mother. Like it's different. Right. Yeah. Right. And first point. of all, being a gay in the 80s and 90s, it's hard to explain to people that are today. First of all, back then, I, when I was younger, I didn't even know I was gay. I just, because I thought gay was a flamboyant, right. you know, the drag queen right. or my mother's hairdresser. But a, uh, but now when kids come out, they say, you know, Modi, the comic you watch on, he's also gay. Right. Oh, yes. So, so we the guy you're the... watching nonstop is also gay. Right. This rabbi's gay. The right. senator's gay. Everyone's gay. So it's, it's it takes that down. Yeah, you know? I have kids in their, like, 30s now. Uh, I, had, I was in Baltimore recently, and this girl said, I used to go in the basement and watch you on Comedy Central. And I was like... She, you know, like it was like she has a family wow. and she's out wow. and she's That's Jewish cool. and she's like, you, I came out right before my bat mitzvah because of you. And it was oh. like, wow. it's th like that makes it all worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it sidelined my career, it totally, I, I would have never had it any other way. Yeah. It, I mean, That's really representation is so important. Yeah, in a positive way. Right. We had crazy incidences in Fire Island with that. With that, I don't know if you saw the video that was we Jay Cohen, who you love. Oh my God, I love you like my little adore, baby. Was in our house. We, right. We uh, yeah, I house. know. I saw that fucking house. That what is that house? <laughs> <laughs> like a mansion? Yeah, it was pretty sick. <laughs> it was pretty sick. It and was, were you there like all day? All it, was a, it was a quarter share, so you got five weeks throughout the summer. One week during every month. May, June, May, July. June, July, September, and one double <gasps> month. So we were there, and he's cooking and cooking oh yeah, and the cooking. best. And and you know, there's nothing like getting a Jay Cohen challah and. Uh. Then, Right, right. You know, because yeah. you've gotten them. Right. Yeah. So now there's the week that we were there, Friday night, we always made a big thing. Yeah. People always see it. People All men, by hey, the way. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Of course. Whatever. So Jake says, you know what? I'm going to make six, seven challahs and invite everyone to make Kiddush. You know, to to make I, I made Kiddush. He made the the, the, right. uh, the hamotzi. I saw. Yeah. And everybody got a little Jake Cohen challah. So we, 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 he, it's very easy to it. communicate with everybody on Fire right. Island. Right. Hey, Anybody wants to hear Kiddush and Hamotzi and Chala, come. F 50 guys came J just for that, you know. But they came from the beach. They came from their friends' pool. Right. They came from, so they're all dressed in They're like, in tank tops and tank shorts and, and Jake's shorts. in a crop top and like it's. Yeah, but it's, they do they, that in Israel. Yeah. 
but this was like yeah. so, so people went like some people were like that's amazing you brought Shabbos to fire right. and someone what a blasphemy yeah the word oh, uh, shut, shut up, up. <laughs> shut those, the fuck up those are the, those are the <laughs> do it and we're to celebrate really? God yeah. God is not like oh my God they better not say the kiddish it's those people <laughs> wearing John Fetterman outfit like yeah. shut no, the fuck they just up said, they're, basically their main point was that like you said that you can't be Jewish and gay at the same time that it's like an either or situation. It's not. That's right. Where, right. It's not. That's what where you lose me. I'm just like, how does that make you any can sense? do what you want? Those are people who don't want to think. They yeah. want to take. Yeah. yeah. They don't. If they thought, then they would have uh, ideas and feelings they don't want to deal with. So what they do is they're like, what does the book say? What does the rabbi say? <laughs> that's what I'm gonna think. Yes. Like there's so yes. many yes. like so religious right. people who are like. You know, uh, you're like, how do you feel about, oh, well, let me check with the Pope. No. Oh, yeah. You know what? Have, how do you it's, feel? They're it's afraid of examining guys, yeah. their own it's feelings. It's guys who are on vacation, bless their hearts, and all of a sudden we reminded them, hey, it's Shabbat. Hey, this is Chava. Can I just say something, yeah. though? Provincetown, it's men and women. It's the gays That's, and the lesbians and the, yeah. Right. And you're all, like, don't you get bored with everyone being hot and, uh, no. and Oh, like, yeah, that sounds really boring. It, no. <laughs> The no. answer is no. Don't no. you miss a woman there? We went to no, we love now. going to Cherry Grove and, yeah, and, Cherry and mingling. Grove. We go to the, the I hate show the there. separation. Oh, I hate it. I'm not, by the way, there's bleed over happening now a lot more. Like yeah, a lot they're more, better big. A there lot is, more gays are staying in Cherry we, Grove we, and lesbians. Well, who in the was it from, from HBO? Uh, Emily. Yeah. There was she, a whole that was a really fun house. It was, a, and it was all it, girls. It was a whole lesbian house in 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 the pines, and they were killing and they were cool it. And they shit. came to all the parties and we loved yeah. them. And she works for HBO and Leo said, send us swag. Send us swag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. box full of <laughs> deck hat. A box full of Oh my god, I would love that. This bitch. Big. No, but there's hoodies. like a lot more cross cross pollination happening I between feel the like groves and the pines. We only did P Town once, and I think we need to it do was, it again. Yeah, maybe we can stay at your house. I won't leave it devoid of toilet paper. I promise. I'll, I'll buy toilet paper and espresso. You pot. can't bring <laughs> thirds in. <laughs> Ew. Ew. We wouldn't do that. Oh, I liked up. what I liked what I don't know if you said it or Jake said it or you said it, but one of you guys said that if you weren't doing that, that would not have been happening ever. It wouldn't. And have. so that's right. what's incredible is that you're yeah. by doing Shabbat and doing that, you're giving people an opportunity to be Jewish in a way that they wouldn't be doing it otherwise. I have. I have Shabbat, I make challah, and then I invite people over yeah. who are not Jewish, and they're like so grateful. A hundred percent. And I just, lo I love Shabbat. Yes. When we first started dating and you were taking me to Shabbats and I had never been to a Shabbat meal, and I was like, wait, you do this every Friday? Right. I was like, that's really special and like really magical, and it was, Right, because like you stop. Yeah. You stop. I was like, and it was great for being a comic and having kids that even though my schedule was erratic and they didn't know what, you know, is she going to be home? They knew Friday night exactly what we were going to do. That's so That's great. really nice. That's very nice. So yeah. what are you plugging? What are you working on now? Is there another yes. show coming? Where can people? Well, when is this airing? Um, whenever Next week, whenever you want. Or the week uh, after. As soon as I get the files. Yeah. Oh, the files. I'll bump it to the front of the line. Um, I am, can I look at my... My uh, sure, go for it. Yeah, grab your phone. Well, I'll just say, but what's like the main place to find you? Oh, I'm at Judy Gold. Well, my website is judygold.com, J U D Y G O L D. But J E W, on, no, my website is J U D Y G O L D. Okay, the That's real my way website. To spell but Judy Gold. on social media, J E W D Y G O L D, which I get a lot of shit for. Really? And it's like, <laughs> like, then don't follow me. Do you get a lot of um do like you get annoying of, messages do, do online? Just, yeah. Like do people come like have what to say? I'm sure they do. I get so much anti so many anti Semitic. Yeah. Do you really uh, do we uh, we don't get that much? I delete a lot of it. Yeah, you don't see that. Yeah, uh, I get that someone wrote there should be another Holocaust just for you. And I was oh like God, Jesus Christ. I was like, why kill all those other people? Oh you know? God. I mean, you can't, like what you know. Remember Larry Amaros. Yeah. One time he turned to Ruth Stern. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ruth Stone was this woman, this older woman. Oh my God! What? Like, we used to, she used to book a, uh, a country club. Oh and, my uh, God! Old Jewish woman. I think she was in the Kinder Trans. Yeah, she was she in had the a Kinder crazy Transport. Accent, could really put put together, and she was just miserable. And whenever she spoke, and and she would say things in one sentence, like um, like. Oh, did you hear Samantha Berkowitz died and uh, Harry bought a new fax? Her husband what was her husband. Right. Name? Oh God, I yeah. loved him. Uh, yeah, and he, was, he was, was, and he went deaf, and we were all like, "Thank um, God." Right. <laughs> for him. For <laughs> him. <laughs> anyway, Larry Amaros turns to her Paul, one time. Paul Stern. Paul. Oh my God. Larry Amaros turns to her one time and goes, six million. How did he miss you?" <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest lines. He's the best. He but you know what she used to do? Because she wanted, to, she didn't want to pay you a lot of money. Right. So, and Angelo Ooh. Greca does the best impression uh -huh. of her. But she would, you, you know, she'd be like, "Are you available uh, August third uh, at Country Club?" Uh, 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 you know, and then she'd tell you the money, and you'd be like. Oh, the no. money is so low because she was getting a shitload of money yep. paying us. And uh, I was like, well, the money. To well, let me tell you something. I called up and I said, uh, I want the book, Judy Gold. And they said, who? Right. <laughs> and that's what she would say. She would say they have no idea who you are. <laughs> and she said she was pitching us. Who? Yeah, yeah. So that's what you get. Uh, who? And, and then you get to the club and you get to the club and They're everybody. All, it's like, oh my God, thank you for being here. Right. It's because of me. You're yeah. yeah. Le Leon is, I mean, whenever you get to one of these events, there's eight people who, because of yeah. them, you're there. I, always I say, specifically thank you so asked I for say, you. Yeah. Oh! Modi, he's a wonderful magician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, so to recap, the title of this episode is Locks and Loaded. Right. Locks Featuring and loaded. Judy Gold. That was great. <laughs> Locks and Loaded. Locks Loaded in Guilt with Judy Gold. Um, okay, so I know that I, wait, is it October? So I'm going to Sweden. Yes. On oh, the wow. twenty. Sixth, yeah. Till the first, I'm going. Do you want me to pull it up? Yeah, he'll pull it up. He'll pull it up. It's, much, it quicker than, it's much quicker than it's much quicker than. And I'm than they doing, do it. doing a Jewish book fair wow. in Sweden, which in Gothenburg. Um, that's so fun. I will yeah. tell you something. My merch, my favorite part about merch is I get to see where it goes. Sweden buys a lot of merch. No way. Who knew? Well, I gotta There's get a merch. lot of Jews. Can you help me with merch. I've been telling you that for years. Wait, before Wait, we can go, we talk about Periel's voice. N Wait, before we go, I don't know. Do you want me to, um, <laughs> upcoming dates, Leslie Jones, moderated oh, yeah, by the, but that's, that's like, this week. Okay. okay. Arlington Sim Cinema and Draft that's House, September 22nd. Weekend. Uh, the book fair. Yes. In, how do you say that? Go, go. Gothenburg. Gothenburg. Uh, Gothenburg. Post office cafe. Oh yeah. Cabaret. I'm going back to P-Town for Women's Week. Of course, yeah, Women's yeah. Week October is in October. October 9, 10, 11, 13, and 14. Yes. Uh, the Connecticut. Tower Hope Gala. Oh, yeah, for the Israel Cancer October Research 15th. Fund, October 15th. Uh, S Sunshine Cathedral, Cathedral for the oh, Performing Arts, Fort October Lauderdale. 21st in Florida. October 21st, Fort don't Lauderdale. Make any, don't make any gun no jokes. No gun jokes. Uh, <laughs> no gun jokes in Fort Lauderdale. And, yeah, more stuff on judygold.com. Those are the... the judygold.com. I have another one. Which one do you want me to read? The I don't know. There's some in Just November. Just go to her Instagram. Listen, I'm doing this as much for myself as it is a gift for anybody who's listening right now. Will you please tell the anecdote, story, joke about your mom and the woman who used to help her? Oh, my God. Please don't act like it's you such a long bit. It's not that long. It's there, not that long. Is there an, an annotated version? It's no. such an old joke, but it's one of my favorite. My mother materials so still my yeah. favorite. This makes me I'm cry. Not, I I had the opportunity to meet Judy's mom mm. on several occasions. Yeah. Yo, so I've, I've and let me tell her. you something. My mother ended up at the Hebrew Home for the Aged in New Jersey, and in Bridgewater, horrible. And um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Bridgewater. It was it was near Bridgewater, horrible. <laughs> So one day I'm there, they're having a Hanukkah party, uh -huh. right? And I look across the room and I see Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, wow. And then I look and I see Rich and I'm Rich Voss. And I'm like, the all, hell are you doing here? Are there? And Rich is like, my mother's here. <laughs> oh, no. My way. mother's here, but she's in the, my mother was on the, oh, you know. There's a good Rich too. Um, uh, She was on the, can speak and not dementia or anything floor, just the, you know, mm -hmm. uh, old. And um, he's like, my mother's on the second floor. <laughs> and 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, I got to meet her. So we meet her and I said, oh, I'll introduce her to my mother. We So my mother and I go over and we're like, hello. His mother was the most, even my mother was like, you think I'm Fabissina? <laughs> <laughs> beyond Fabissina. The Fabissina like, Olympics at the Hebrew home for Oh Asian. my God. She was so miserable. Like you could say nothing that would make her happy. <laughs> but it was, what, isn't that funny that they were in, all right, whatever. Um, okay, so my mother, I can't, it's not you an anecdote, it's a bit. Her. All right, I'm all right. I'm trying so, to not give it away before, maybe, all right, you know what, you don't. Do it. Modi's doing your podcast in October, so maybe we'll, I know. we'll get it yes. there. Mine's a little different. I will different. tell you one thing I learned from Judy Gold how important facial expressions are. She used to do a bit, this is a thousand years ago, where she had her tape recorder of oh the my mother God. on a, a oh. her mother on. Uh, the answering so, like, machine. So she literally, she like literally took off, like whatever, let's just do a 15 minute set. At the end, like for five minutes, she didn't have to talk at all. She would just play her mother <laughs> on the recording. That's and like at the right time, she would just go. <laughs> like, oh, I know. <laughs> and people would, lose their breath just the way she would turn like and the mom would say like okay i'm dying i, I could be dead i could be no. call me thursday yeah no it, yeah it, she it, had a whole thing where it. she it thought i was so... dead and she's like where are you i'm a wreck and then she'd say <laughs> so long but and judy's just doing and i'm just and like yeah so i knew exactly when to turn my head and that, Every, that's when i learned yeah that's when i learned um the, that's when i learned physical this, comedy pause and go Pauses like, are very important. So yeah. give, it timing. Gives a to, oh yeah. Oh, it is. And I are you musical? Oh I yeah, am, you're a cantor. -ish. I don't really. Yeah, you called one time. You remember I gave you advice. You, yeah. you you were playing a female rabbi or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you asked me what? How do I do a song for? Well, um, I was on. Uh, oh, what was that thing with uh, Edie Falco? Uh, the Big C. Yeah. And I, and she dies at the end, and I play the rabbi at her deathbed. Right. Okay. And I had to sing Kaddish, and I usually would just say Kaddish, right. Mourner's Kaddish, but- um, I told you to do it in yeah. um, the song everybody knows. Shalom Aleichem, it yeah. it And I knew it, so yeah. I was like, what should like, I perfect. sing? Yeah. That's it. Um, but yes, music and comedy, I mean, pauses, one yeah. syllable, Mm -hmm. A repeated word that you said 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, everything affects, you it's know, so a funny. laugh. The 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 it, my no worries bit. Mm -hmm. I just turn to the barista and go, and it just gets such a laugh. Even though I even though I thought it should get a laugh just for the, me saying it. Right. It's just that look. It's so. And then I learned from Judy Gold. Just a pause, look, boom, yeah. check. You got to trust the silence. Yep. That's oh, wow, what that's a lot powerful. of people don't don't yep. do especially comics they're like no and it's and it's such a risk because you don't like you don't know if someone's going to yell some shit out but right. you have to if you have control over that crowd right that silence do that you, pause is so powerful do you think that's a little bit of like the younger generation of com like tiktok comedians who are used to like 59 seconds getting it in quick like well, they don't tiktok know to comedians but now they're doing stage, stage comedians. But now right. they're trying oh, to be. Oh, they have become. Yeah. Because they can fill up a theater and an arena. Right. They fill it up. Yeah. And then you talk to the booker uh, and you will find out that the show was horrible. Yeah. They don't right. know what they're doing and they can't fill it up again. They right. can fill it up it's a once. one time phenomenon. There's, you know, the craft of stand-up takes so much work. Mm. 10, 15 years before you really, really know what the hell you're doing up there. Like a doctor, you know, like, yeah. come on. But uh, it, this, this dumbing, this, you know what? It's all about making money and I'm going to fill the room with a subpar comic because they have yeah. a funny viral video. And yeah. these people, what do they learn about? Like, they're not going to come back to another stand-up show. Right. It's really bad for the art form. Yeah. Like, before social yeah, media, I and I know I'm old, eh, shut the fuck up, but <laughs> you had to be great. Yeah. You had one opportunity. You auditioned for everything in front of a live audience that, you know, it didn't matter who you followed. You had no control over that. You had to be prepared. Yep. And now- Now it, they want to see what numbers you have followers. Right. Are you going to fill the room? Are they going to be able to, on social right. media, sell their show for them? Right. It's a different world. 
Right. Good for, for good and bad. For right. good and bad. For good right. and bad. Anyway, I cannot thank you enough for coming. Oh down my here. God. Not a schlep at all. <laughs> Canal Street. <laughs> Where are you, like, do you live? Would you live down here? We live on the Lower East Side. Yeah, but yeah. we're never coming from home. We're always coming from somewhere else. Right. Wait, are you gonna get a tattoo? Of what? Well, you have Hebrew on you. Yeah. Modi doesn't believe I don't, in tattoos. I don't. I. You know, there's a few things I don't need: tattoos and f many. Almost every one of our guests comes here with a Jewish with a with a Jewish star. I don't feel I need that. I just open my mouth. And people you know, know I um my Mike Mike Rappaport came with two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, two. Here's the thing. Yeah. I didn't wear and I mean I always wore like maybe so, I I since the rise of anti-Semitism, I am wearing this. Okay. I'm sorry. I have one. I, yeah, I wear it. Today, I I, wear when it. we last time I was in Sweden, they told us to put them away. Oh, really? I, I, I'm sorry. You know, I have to look at people wearing crosses all day. I find the crosses very creepy. Yeah, and this is just, I'm I'm sorry. I I feel like since the, I, it is. Good. Yeah, good, good. You know, like you, you're sitting next to a Jew on the subway. Well, duh, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> okay, again, thank you to our sponsors, A and H Provisions. Uh, thank you guys again. And Arthur and- um, and, uh, and Lux. Uh, White White's and Luxembourg. Lux. Thank you very much for being our sponsors. Uh, I am at modilive.com. And we have- Lots shows, of shows. We, lots up. of shows coming up. We just added Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, Atlanta, Milwaukee. Atlanta, Milwaukee. We are adding a show in- all the things you've been asking for, Boston, D.C., all those things are Paris coming. Paris added soon. a show to that. I want to go to Paris. We have four shows. You're going to be, you're gonna be in. Uh, you're going to be at the, the Women's Week in P Town those days. But how do you days. get these shows overseas? We have. I've been working hard, honey. He works hard. I've been working hard. We did London. He booked. He. Booked do you get Jews shows. at your shows? All the Jews. All the Jews. All the Jews. We had to add another show in Paris. It's yeah, like we, they're we, banging. We added a show in Berlin. Yeah. Oh my God! Can't you work for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> we should talk. Um, we should wait talk. a minute. What else is, is this? Oh, he's not. Um, I only represent Jews. There's only what, the show. Everything else is sold out, right? Which, just go to modilive.com. Modi there's lots of live. Com. I'm Be about to friend. release like 12 dates. Right. Anyway, there's a lot of new shows coming up. A lot of them are in your area. There's going to be Atlanta and and. and the, oh, I'm going to Atlanta. Yes. When? When? November 11th. No, we're December something. Okay, I'm okay. just saying. I'm going on the... And, and then I'm course, getting my knee replaced. The 32nd the Book 20th, Festival, Marcus the other JCC one. of Atlanta, November yeah. 11th. That's Judy Judy's event. Okay, so um, I always say this. Be the friend who brings the friends to the comedy show. You see a comedy show, you see Judy, you see me, you see Periel, anywhere. Buy six, eight tickets. You will find people to bring and you'll make them happy and change their life and bring Mashiach energy into it. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you. I love thank you all. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.